Stop being a golf flat earther. There are a lot of misconceptions that surround golf. People do and say things because that's the way they've always done it, or that's what they believe, so that's what they do. Open up your mind and learn some other things and get rid of some of these old misconceptions. There's some old wives' tales around golf just like anything else. Like, you've got to swing hard to hit the ball a long way. Golf's a whipping motion. It's not just pure force. You use the leverage like in a whip to get distance. You don't just have to swing physically hard. Keep your eye on the ball. One of the oldest sayings in golf, well, you keep your eye on the ball and you're keeping your head still and you're keeping your head down. Both of those are bad for your golf swing. I teach keep your eye off the ball. Swinging your arms. If you've watched my channel, you know I don't believe you actually swing your arms in the golf swing. I think that's an old wives tale. It's a misconception. It feels like you're swinging your arms, but in fact what you do is you fold your arms in the golf swing. Active hands. You know, people have taught for generations you've got to be handsy with the golf swing to get it squared up and to learn how to hit the ball properly with all these different hits. You know, if you're an elite athlete, maybe you can use the small muscles in your hands to pull off a lot of shots. But for the average amateur, you're not going to be able to do that. And listen, unless you're winning club championships on a regular basis, you are a typical or average amateur. Use your hands to square up the club. Your hands should actually be really soft in the golf swing and they should be just soft and relaxed as they're coming in and square up. If you do that, you can square up the golf club. I believe in a, I use a different method for squaring up the golf club. I don't use the hands or anything below the elbow at all. Of course, I use what I call the bicep clothes where I use my shoulder and big arms or bicep to turn my elbow down toward my belly which automatically turns the hand and closes the club. I think that's much more reliable to use the big muscles in your body to close the club than trying to use the small muscles of your hands. Again, if you're a typical golfer, trying to use your hands to close the club is just a losing battle. It's too complicated. Unless you're an elite, a elite athlete, it's just not gonna work for you. Practice makes perfect. How many people have told you, just go out and practice more? And look, I believe in a lot of practice too, but if you're practicing the wrong things, it doesn't make you perfect. Before you start in practice, you need to make sure you're practicing the right stuff. Far too many practice drills are these big compound movements, and they don't break them down into smaller movements that you can understand. It's very unlikely that you're gonna be able to practice a big compound movement, no matter how much you practice it, and get it right. So, break out of this flat earth mindset. Just because something's been done for always in golf, or people say, well, everybody's done it, or we've always done it that way, doesn't mean that's the right way. Golf, as I've shown you, has lots of misconceptions about what's the right way to do something. You need to decide on your own what's the right way and what works for you.